Hey y'all, I'm Doug. I'm Christian. And today we're gonna talk to you about the Army's fourth event of the combat fitness test. This event is the sprint drag carry, but what this event really is, is a sprint drag lateral, then carry, then another sprint. Not only is it confusing for our double digit ASVAB soldiers and NCOs, but it's also somewhat rigorous for people who are used to running only two miles. <laughs> Why does Christian look like a statue this morning? The purpose of this event is to help you guys with agility and anaerobic endurance. Some coordination, which, you know, maybe it's worth something, maybe it's not. We'll see. Some of you may ask us, how do I train for this event? The answer is super simple. Either you follow Softleet's ACFT prep program, or you just do the test, because this is one of those tests that, if you want to be better at it, you just got to do it. The event is short. You can handily deal with it in under three minutes if you are in any kind of shape at all. So you can pack three or four repetitions of just this event into a single training session. However, it is important for you to remember to leave ample time between efforts so that you don't pull your hamstring and drink enough water. Typically people who are underhydrated or who haven't allowed themselves enough rest between iterations are going to get dangerously close to injuries that are going to affect their ability to actually do this event in real life when being evaluated. The minimum passing score for this event is three minutes for the modified group of MOSs. The significant group of MOSs must meet a two minutes and 30 second time hack to pass this event. The heavy MOS group needs to pass this in two minutes and 10 seconds as a minimum. 100 points is achieved on this event if you get a minute and 33 seconds. That doesn't matter if you're a skin flute player or an infantryman. Follow Christian and I to the turf where I will demonstrate the sprint drag carry in all of my glory. Your implements will be set up a little bit before your starting line. The handles for your sled drag are gonna be on top of the plate so that they are easy to grab. Kettlebells are gonna be set up so that you can just reach down and pick them up like a suitcase carry for the run. So now Doug is gonna demonstrate the sprint drag carry. He is going to do this after coming off of a literal couch. We are still expecting a fast time. Doug is going to start on his belly with his head behind the starting line. All of the implements are gonna be set up behind the same line. When your grader says go, Doug is gonna get up, sprint down to that 25 meter mark. He's gonna let his hand and foot cross the finish line, come back, and he's gonna grab the handles of his sled, which is set up behind the line. Handles are set up on top of the implement so that you can grab them easily. He's going to run backwards. The implement and his feet, feet both need to cross the line when he makes his turnaround. Then he needs to bring the sled all the way back over the line before he sets up for his side shuffle. He's going to shuffle down left first, not unlike a crab, crossing one foot and one hand over, and then he's going to shuffle back the same direction And as soon as he crosses, he's gonna pick up his kettlebells for a run. He's going to run down, circle his cone. You don't need to circle your cone, but you do need to have one foot cross the finish line. And he's going to turn around, run his kettlebells back over for a final sprint. Looks just like the first one. Need to touch the line with one foot and one hand down to the floor and back over the finish line, at which time your grader will mark time. The maximum score for this event was very, very easy to hit. It's very reasonable. The events that come up next, the hanging leg tuck and the two mile run are much more of a gut check. So that means if you are worried about the hanging leg tuck and the run, it might not be so bad to sandbag this event just a little bit so that you are comfortable for those two. Hopefully this video squared you away for this segment of the Army Combat Fitness Test. If you need to know more, visit www.softleet.com forward slash ACFT to download your free copy of our training program. And if you like this content, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so that you can get more of it.